Well, they've been missing in action for 65 years, but soon two Massachusetts soldiers will make their final journey home. These soldiers were on a plane that disappeared during World War II and wasn't found until 2005. Jonathan Elias joins us now, and Jonathan, what's even more important here is that the government just identified these lost servicemen. Lisa, that identifi identification process took more than two and a half years because of DNA testing. Now, 11 families are getting closure more than six decades after their loved ones went missing. 1943, and this was the headline in the Cambridge paper, Flyer Missing After Raid Against Japs. 23-year-old 2nd Lieutenant Ronald Ward of Cambridge and 10 crew members aboard a B-25 bomber vanished. They had gone out on a bombing mission, and uh, they had uh, the report that the mission completed, and they were on the way back to base. That's the last they ever heard of it. 85-year-old George Lund remembers seeing Ward just a couple of months before he went missing. Lund was in the Army, serving under General Patton, and Ward was a bombardier fighting the Japanese in New Guinea. Brothers-in-law and good friends. But he wasn't scheduled for that flight, but they had a new bombardier. And the new bombardier, Ronnie was going along to watch him and give him any kind of instructions and see how he was making out. And uh, so actually, Ronnie wasn't supposed to be on that plane. Two years ago, big pieces of that plane were found by natives deep in the New Guinea jungle. The Department of Defense compared DNA of remains found on that plane with living relatives. They matched. So after 65 years, closure finally came. There are some who still feel the pain like it was yesterday. There are others who are amazed that the government, the Department of Defense, the Army, uh, still con continues with this pursuit more than 60 years later. So many years ago. And you always remember, you always remember just how they looked at that particular time. You know, just how they looked. He, he always looked like that throughout my lifetime, and so was my wife. Yeah, it never changed. Also on that plane was 2nd Lieutenant Kenneth Cassidy of Worcester. I talked with his son tonight down in Jacksonville, Florida. His son never met his dad because he shipped out before he was ever born. He was amazed and also relieved that his father's remains were found. And interestingly enough, he followed in his missing father's footsteps. He joined the service, flew for the Navy for 37 years before retiring. Lisa? Two proud families. Jonathan, thank you. A lot of families in this country are still in that same position without any resolution. The Pentagon is telling us there are 88,000 American soldiers from World War I on who are still considered missing in action.